Hi, I'm Katie Pittman, Seed Bank Specialist at the Missouri Botanical Garden. In this video, we'll walk through the steps I use to conduct viability testing on the seeds stored in our seed bank. The first decision I make is what seeds need to be tested. We test our seeds fresh after one year of storage and then every five years after that. We'll pull 10, 25, or 50 seeds based on the total number of seeds in the collection. It's very important that the seeds are carefully labeled. On a piece of lab tape, I write the taxon, a session number, and a test number that's been assigned. I use a number of resources to decide what propagation protocols will be needed. Some useful resources include Baskin and Baskin's seed book and the seed information database by Q. After I've decided how I want to run the test, a score sheet is filled out. We've found that having a physical copy that stays with the test is really helpful. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's a space for a session number, taxon, and test number at the top. Start date is when the seed will be planted. There are spaces to note any pretreatment, such as nicking seed coats and boiling, method and length of disinfection, and type of media used, which is usually a 0.8% agar, and if anything is added to the media. After the seed is planted, I go back and note what size grid was used and the actual number of seeds planted. Any stratification treatments that the seed might require to break dormancy, I list in the table. We use a 52-week sticker system, which helps us to visually tell when seeds need to move to a different temperature. You can see every week has a different color, so all the weeks ending in 8 are in green, 6 is in orange, and so on. So in this example, if your start date is 11-12-2022, your start week will be 46. I'm doing an 8-week cold strat, so I filled that in for length, and then my end week will be week 2. The final germination temperature is noted at the bottom of the sheet, so on week 2 the test will move from the cold strat in the fridge into the 2522C incubator. Next, I prepare my disinfecting solution. I use NADCC with tween 20. This is mixed in 1,000 milliliters of water and labeled. 5 grams of NADCC is mixed with the water on a stir plate. 20 drops of tween is then added. This will give you a 0.5% concentration of NADCC. To disinfect, I place the seeds into coffee filters and pour the solution until it covers the seeds. The container is then placed onto an orbital shaker for 20 minutes. To prepare agar, here are the supplies needed. Agar, plant preservative mixture, or PPM, which helps prevent mold growth, HCl, NaOH, and a pH meter. The appropriate amount of agar is then added to water on a stir plate for the concentration needed. PPM is added and then pH is adjusted between 5.6 and 5.8. The agar mixture is brought to a boil, stirred, and boiled a few more times to ensure that it is mixed. The plates are poured under a biosafety cabinet and allowed to cool until solid. Once disinfected, the filter is removed from the container and the disinfecting solution disposed of. Now it's time to plant the seed. The label is placed onto the plate. Then I place a sticker that corresponds with the next temperature treatment the test will need and the week that it will need to be moved. The plate is placed on the seed planting guide. The filter gets laid out and the seed is planted directly from the filter paper. When planting multiple tests, forceps are disinfected in ethanol between each plate. After the test is planted, the plate gets moved to its next destination which could include a warm or cold stratification or directly into its germination temperature. This is where I organize by the color-coded weeks. Once stratification is completed, I remove all of the score sheets and the corresponding tests with stickers for that week. Tests are placed into their germination temperature and scored weekly on the back of the score sheet until the test is complete. Seeds are scored by removing germinants with a radical that is two millimeters long or if the seed is small, at least as long as the seed. When scoring the test, take note of the date, the initials of who scored, how many seeds germinated that day, and a running total of seeds germinated. At the conclusion of the test, any ungerminated seeds are dissected under a microscope to decide whether the seeds are empty, moldy, or infested, which gets marked on the right side of the score sheet. 
One useful resource when doing this is the Comparative Internal Morphology of Seeds by A.C. Martin. After calculating the viability and germination percentages, I upload the test results to the Missouri Botanical Garden Living Collections Management System, or LCMS, which is a publicly accessible database. Thanks for watching and please feel free to reach out with any questions.